Hello and welcome, I'm Maruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Big Blue Blob in Europa, Universal House 4. Uh, we're just engaging armies because we've got a superior technology bonus, which is better. Uh, that's a pretty sizable stack of French noble rebels. Hopefully, uh... Wow. Wow. That's a big stack of French noble rebels. That's all I can say about that. Um, we're going to shift consolidate down the regular infantry. So let's grab the infantry, detach mercs. We'll consolidate. We are at below our force limit. We can hire more mercs. We're getting kind of low on funding. We've won the Siege of Memel, which is nice. We don't have any siege value whatsoever. We're going to send over one troop to help out with that siege, and then you guys are going to go for that. This occupation may actually be rather significant. Memel occupied by France, that's worth four war score. Um, when it comes to getting the white piece, I may just need a few occupations. Where else are they getting war score from? Borgony occupied by Austria. So this, this is actually worth a fair bit, two war score. We'll hire one more Merc to try to take back Poito. Question I'm wondering is, do we just go fight him? And I think we do. And then we just camp out here. You're not actually moving to engage me, you're going to Nemours. Maybe he'll be a complete moron and go and engage the 31 stack, which would be hilarious. Our navy should be superior because of the heavies. They do have a, a naval leader, even though we don't. We're at 39 war score. Artois is worth more than you would expect. That's what happens when you don't have very many forts, is that it artificially increases the, the value of the provinces. Wismar is worth a fair bit. Isn't that up here? Well, that's his capital. It's kind of kind of to be expected. The fact that we can't progress in our annexation is rather unfortunate. I did, between episodes, hire a papal legate to try to increase the speed that we'd be able to do that at. And he actually got forced to retreat, which is good for me. 43 war score. Forty-four. I need this army to get up there and get get back Artois. Forty-five war score. I get a thirteen reasons for a white piece. White piece would be the best outcome, I think, for me.
I don't like how battles are capped. We have 44 war score right now. Still negative 13 reasons. His enthusiasm is at 57. If we were to win one of these sieges, if I had started the siege and they had both completed, we may actually have been able to get the peace already. Forty-six war score. I think we have to just engage this army again. We have superior tech. We have a pretty damn good leader. We've got morale. We've got a lot of advantages. So just kill some Austrians. Seven war score it says, but of course it's not actually worth that much. We split up, take back these provinces, prevent them from doing this bullshit scatter around maneuver. The fact that we've got a 31 stack of uh, noble rebels in our capital, I'll have to admit is a bit concerning. 43 war score. We don't have any individual war score against very many people. Um, the Teutons, but we want we need that war score to negotiate with Austria, so we can't use that to try to peace out. If I give up that peace, then... You know, honestly, Castile not being in the war may have actually ended up being a good thing. Because they would have lost a lot of battles. And that would have been very bad for me. Damn it, I hate when they do that, when they take one province. The French involvement happens. The Castilian Civil War avoid the involvement. I don't want to get involved in their problems. We still have time before that becomes a real issue. The problem is that we're only at 43 war score now because they keep on occupying these provinces and I can't... can't deflect their occupations quickly enough while still having a, an army that's large and... reliable. Still, I could drive their, try to drive their war exhaustion up. That's another factor that may cause them to be willing to go for white peace. They're negative eight reasons right now. That's a big deal. The Teutons are on tech five. We have one maneuver to their one maneuver. But if we marched around nine on nine, I think we could take them. That naval battle doesn't do anything for us. Is there anyone else we can blockade to get some more score from? We have 47 war score. Okay, I think we engage the uh, Austrian army one more time and hope that that causes their enthusiasm to drop because they lose out on their own personal strength. We actually stack wiped that army. That's really good. It's not going to bring their enthusiasm down by enough, but they are getting closer. Negatives, there's zero reasons for white peace right now. And it looks like, yeah, we handily won that fight. And we just stack wipe the other army now as well. We 
white piece it is. You'll give me 52 ducats. Go away. Alright, we've won the coalition war. Combat width of 22 in the plains. Rivers from every direction except for over here. We detach and detach. Um, let's do this. Well, I was not expecting to fight a coalition. I'll give you that. We did manage to put it off on our own. We could take admin tech again, or we could actually just go for administrative ideas. And I think that that makes sense to me. I do, I do think that it makes sense. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Um, our cores are almost complete. We are at peace. We have to fight this huge, huge army of rebels. We actually do have some real manpower, though. I don't want to take 70 days to train troops, though. No, I think we have enough as is. We should be able to win this fight. Okay. So, integration speed. How's it look? November of 71. That would give us 28 years to then go nuts on expansion. Is 28 years enough to gain tons and tons of provinces? Don't know. Right now we have 45 provinces. And we're about to integrate, like, however many he has. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually have 45 plus 8 puts us at 53. So we're more than halfway there. And we'd have 28 years to go nuts on the low development upper eastern area. So let's assume that this integration is done. We need to start fabricating and getting some claims on these guys. We build an espionage network against Novgorod. We'll also have a border with Peskov, who is a vassal underneath Muscovy. We'll also have a border with Sweden, who is allied to England and Scotland, who is annoying. The Livonians are allied to the Teutons. Their development is... Osal is low. They've got two that are pretty low. It's definitely Novgorod is like... They would be the, the primary target. I could see taking a province off of the Livonians. Okay, so... We can't start going to war until this. We're integrating at 7 per month, which is pretty quick. There's still more that can be done to raise diplomatic reputation. We don't have a diplomatic reputation guy. We could continuously fire advisors, hoping to get that. There's no other way that I know of to, to force it. I already hired the papal legate. We need to recover from the wars. That could be useful. Just buy down our war exhaustion from here. I don't see any other value in the uh, Diplo points, honestly. Vassalize Liege would actually give us diplomatic reputation. Liege, allied to Mines and Nassau. That's curious. I mean, 
that could seriously speed things up. Actually, hold on. We just went from seven down to six per month. Why are we less now? Our diplomatic reputation is at 0.34, negative 0.34 from overextension. Hmm. I'm not sure why it was at 7 and now it's less. I'm pretty sure that Austria would defend him. And we technically have no CB, but we just beat Austria. So by all means, you know what? Let's piss off the world. Right? At least consider it. 100% aggressive expansion for forced vassalage. <laughs> Yeah, no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Interesting thought, but no. We'll keep these this fort down here while we're uh, pouring. Nothing going on down there. Nothing going on in Malta. We only have one rebel faction right now. Waiting on our cores. Waiting on integration. I would love a diplomatic reputation guy. We could just fire you. I, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fire you, and then we're gonna we're gonna keep on paying to recycle on a monthly basis the level one guy, and hope that we get a diplo guy. Nice, that worked perfectly. Okay, yeah, that does speed us right back up to December of '71. I think it's possible. I still think that there's an opportunity here. Um, as soon as these cores finish, we might even get it up to eight per month, which um, would be really good. We even generate eight per month. Okay, it looks like Castile has decided that they don't like us anymore. They're hostile toward us. Yeah, good luck with your civil war there, buddy. Now, you are my allies, so you actually don't have a lot of aggressive expansion with me. Well, you have some. Still seven per month until that final core comes in, and then I think we will be at 8 per month. Eight per month? Starting next month? Hmm. I am going to take this idea. Sadly, it's still only seven per month. It's not low legitimacy. We did lose a lot of power projection. What if we just attack Poland? <laughs> we don't border Poland in any way. Poland, did you get the Union? You did You did get the Union over him. The problem is that there's actually a ton of development in Lithuania. And I don't really think rivalries are the way to go. Considering we have manpower, I may consider getting rid of some mercs. Of course, I'm not gonna lower my force limit. That's one of the main imposing features that we have right now, is scaring the crap out of people. Uh, Denmark is allied to people that don't matter too much. And they have a personal union with Norway. Some land up there that we might want to get our hands on. I think I should be prepared for a naval battle with England again so that I can go to war with Sweden
find it funny how we're not allowed to rival England. No, okay, I think we're just waiting. We're waiting until December of 71. Only two years away. And we do have reduced coring cost, so... End of the Castilian Civil War. Fair enough. Well, you know, you can let me know what your thoughts are. Go check out the, uh, the forum, the subreddit. See if you think maybe we still have a, a chance at this or not. I feel pretty good about it, overall. Just lost our theologian. We'll stick with the level one guy, the tax advisor. Pretty sure we make more money off taxes. Oh yeah, by far. Hmm. Base cost would be 210. Right, 210 minus 50% because it's territorial, takes it to 105. 105 minus 25%, okay, I was just checking to see if it was doing any extra bonus math for us. Well, we could lower autonomy in Picardy. I think I will revoke this land. I have a feeling that it's at 0%? No, not quite. Shoot. Okay, well I'm gonna lower autonomy there anyway. And now they want new land, but if we're gonna give them new land, I'd rather give them new land that has, you know, higher autonomy. Like one of these down here. Unfortunately that is not territorial. I could give them one of these two. have Rethel. That solves that problem. The clergy... There's gotta be some provinces that have low autonomy. Yeah, these ones here... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cycle it so that, like, the clergy don't need this land. They need land that has higher, higher autonomy than this. They expect to control 15%. Picardy, already owned by the nobles. If we give them, like, this province here. I think I might actually pay the points to finish the core of Provence and give it to them. Even though it's a an estuary and it really should belong to the uh the other guys. We'll see. 
Eventually we may do that. Save the Francian people. We have a truce with Brittany, so we can't do that. Incorporating Savoy. Um, again, we'd end up at war with uh, Austria. That's a lot of development. It's not worth even considering. I think we lower maintenance all the way down to none. We're not worried about revolts. We're just going to wait. Sit around. Okay, cool. Catalonia. Three provinces. 22 development. It's down here, but the autonomy is too... way too high for it to be worthwhile to consider. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode, where we will hopefully finish this integration and then move on rapid expansion. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon. See you in a bit.